I so the one of the things that I was gonna get um, was the Titan Fitness Crash Packs, and they were on sale um, like a week ago from one ninety nine to hundred bucks. It's only on sale for like a day, so I ordered it, and it just arrived. And these things look, this, this box is massive. <clears throat> I'm recording from my phone right now, so like, it's kind of hard to, if I would hold it and record. So I'm gonna just like open it up from here, and then I'll bring it closer in, and then I'll go over a couple more things. But yeah, so we got the Crash Pass today. Boxes, boxes. These are much bigger than I thought they were gonna be. And they, this box is heavy as shit. It's just two crash pads in here. <clears throat> like, bro, this is... God damn. But they big and heavy, so that means they, they durable. You know, you drop in a fucking log on it. God damn. Oh, shit. Oh, that's Bubble wrap and then uh, its own little packaging, a little plastic wrap. God damn, these shits are woo. pretty clean cool, though. So here's, so here's one. This is heavy, bro. This is like, fuck. It's like 25, 30 pounds. But I mean, it's just a pad, crash pad. Um, I'm probably gonna get two tires, and then I'll put these on top of a tire so that when I got a log press, or if I'm using Atlas Stone, like over a day of bar, <clears throat> the crash pad won't just be on the floor. You know what I mean, it's pretty, pretty fucking thick. I might not even need a tire. This should actually hurt my hand. <laughs> I might not even need a fucking tire. Oh, there are those touches. Yeah. Let me get the camera. <clears throat> but yeah, there's one. And here's the other. But yeah, they're, they're pretty clean. They're really big. And this is... I'm, without a doubt, I'm sure they're gonna be really durable. Um, so what I'm gonna do for now is, cause I don't want them to get dirty. Uh, tomorrow I'll move it. <clears throat> I'll bring out the, uh, tomorrow I will bring out my, uh, well I'll go over it real quick right now cause I was gonna add this part in the video anyway. Um, like my placement of where I'm gonna have all the equipment. <clears throat> all right, so, and these were the mats, the mats that I was talking about that I could use for the top of the Atlas Zone platform. They're pretty thick. They're, <clears throat> I wanna say that's probably an inch, maybe two, I'm not good with measurements. But anyway, so let's zoom out all the way. So we're gonna go, my, my, my garage ain't that long. I mean, it's, you can't fit two garage, two cars in here. But it's like, it has a little gate, it's like probably a little under seven feet for when it opens up. But and then here is like, we'll, we'll turn the video a long ways. So this way is probably, I mean, at least to the door, at least 12 feet. So what I plan to do was, cause the Atlas Stone platform is gonna be eight, eight feet long all together. We're gonna have it go from, so this is like a little sensor for the, when you press the garage key to lock it. So we're probably gonna have it a little bit after cause it comes two feet out too. So platform's not that big. So from here from the start, we'll go about eight feet, which I measured, which was somewhere around here about. <clears throat> and then we were gonna have a box. I have a, a, a like a plastic, like a, like a, crap, I got, I got like one of these type of boxes, these little, uh, plastic boxes for storage, but I have a much bigger one. Um, I'm gonna put, I'll put one right next to the Atlas platform because I'm gonna have two of them. 
But I'm going to put one there because I don't want my sandbags to like be chilling on the floor. They're going to get dirty, sand might fall out, whatever. So I'm going to put the sandbags in uh, one, one, one of those uh, plastic tin plastic tubs. So we're going to have the eight foot platform there. We're going to have the tub here with the sandbags. And then I'm going to have the log and the axle bar probably, probably in front of the, uh, in front of the, uh, crap, what is it called? Plastic tub. Or I'll have it like laying against the Atlas platform, whatever. But yeah, but this side of the wall of the garage is going to be the Atlas stone platform, the tub with the sandbags, and then we'll have the log and the axle somewhere. The axle ain't going to be, it's like a normal Olympic bar, just a little thicker, but the log is a little bit bigger. And then for now, I have like everything else in the garage here against this wall. But I'm going to have a set the second tub. This is going to be with like my miscellaneous stuff. Like, so it'll be my, uh, I'll throw my, my, uh, my massage gun in there. Um, there was a couple other, what else? The loading pin I'll throw in there. Um, I'll probably, there's a couple other things in there. I, I had a list of it when I first thought about it, but I kind of already forget. I was gonna put in there. Um, we, we'll probably throw the crash pad like on top of everything. Um, and then here in this corner, we're gonna have the yoke. The yoke is six feet tall, so it's probably, so if we're looking at it, the yoke is six feet tall. It's probably gonna, what am I, I'm six foot one with my head here, there. So it's, the yoke's probably gonna be up to like right here. And we're gonna have that here in this corner. And then I'll have the uh, farmer's walk directly to the right of it. So I'm gonna be move out. I'm gonna keep this table here because that's my wife's epoxy stuff. But I'm gonna um, I'll move this box and that tub elsewhere. So we'll have the yoke here, farmer's walk there, add a stone platform, log axle, tub of sandbags, and then we'll have the second tub there. I might uh, move the lawnmower into the shed outside and I'll move the bike over and there's space there and the Titan pads to go there. Um, I want to say that that'll probably be it that I ordered, that I'll order or that I'll have totally here. So the Atlas stones, the log, the axle, farmer's yoke, sandbags. Oh, and a circus dumbbell. I'll obviously get a circus dumbbell. But I mean, that's just a big dumbbell. I can put that anywhere. But yeah, so that's probably going to be it. That's like a little <clears throat> explanation of where my gym equipment is going to be in my girl. And then like when I go work out, I mean, when I get my coach, I'll find out like what's the training session they're going to be like. But with like a yoke and stuff, I can open up my garage. There's a street. Like I'll show you real quick. I mean, you can't really see the dark, but like my little drive through ends, and then there's this is a one way. So I can just use the yoke, farmer's walk, whatever, run back and forth, run with the sandbag, you know. I can do a lot of the stuff here, and then obviously log and axle I can do up in here. I got space to, you know, run with a yoke, which is cool. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe. Yeah.